out of town media and college players from around the nation are right now in the Port City for this weekend's Reese Senior Bowl. The morning practice has wrapped up at Lab People Stadium. The local 15 Stephen Quinn joins us now with the economic boom the city is experiencing right now and how families can have fun really all week. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Kelly. Well, let's get to the fun part because it is open to the public here and obviously all that this leading up, all the practices, all of the events leading up to the Senior Bowl, which is at 3 p.m. on Saturday. You will need a ticket for that, however. But as you might imagine, a lot of money is at stake at this event. As you might imagine, these guys here, college athletes, vying to make it to the NFL. And it's, of course, a big story. When you have a big story like that, you have media from all over our area, as well as fans and the players themselves. And with that in mind, it's bringing a lot of the focus here on Mobile, and we spoke to the executive director of the Senior Bowl, Phil Savage, and he says that Mobile is front and center on this story. We get a lot of exposure. Hopefully, hopefully it brings a lot of attention to the area, and when we have weather days like <laughs> yesterday and today, it's all good. Uh, Kelly, I can second the weather part. It is all good with the weather here, at least for today. And as a few numbers here, seven to 800 credentialed media members, as well as the close to 100 uh, athletes themselves, when you combine both teams that are here at this event. And with that, obviously, it's going to be a big boost to our area, Riverview Plaza, where they're going to be holding a press conference later today, uh, is the, really the, 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 the ground zero for where a lot of these players are going to be staying. And so hotels and restaurants are sure to be affected. Uh, Mr. Savage telling me that they plan to work with the University of South Alabama to provide an economic impact study on just how much money is being brought into this area. Now, as for the Senior Bowl itself, as I mentioned, Saturday at 3 p.m. Right now, a lull in the day. There's going to be a practice with the South team from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. for all of your news and highlights from, the, from that, as well as those economic impacts. Be sure to stay tuned to Local 15 News at 5 and 6. Kelly, I'm just going to out here in the sunlight. Of course you are. You get the best gig today, I tell you. But isn't it so cool? You're a huge football fan <laughs> as much as I am. But how cool is it to see players before they, you know, are in the NFL draft? Well, and, and Kelly, it's a huge deal. 35% of the athletes who play in the NFL, according to a fellow who was talking to me, played in this event. This is a huge day. I mean, this is for the rest of us. This is a job interview. And, and as I told you in our last half hour, these days leading up to the Senior Bowl itself, when these players meet after these practices with these scouts, with these personnel from the NFL. That's really, honestly, the most important time. That's where they get to size these guys up, really get to see what they are like with their helmets off, because for them, often that's as important as what they're able to do on the field. So obviously an important week for them, an important week for Mobile. For I, Mobile. I tell you, I'm glad we don't have to do a weigh-in for our job, because I wouldn't have one. Thank you, Stephen. I appreciate <laughs> it. Oh, my goodness.